Welcome back YouTube, 2 to uk um, Hopefully a quick vid. I've been messing about with this for a couple of days now and I know there's some eggheads out there that will be able to do this dead easy and they've probably already done it, but it's new to me. Um, I've managed to get Workbench running from a hard drive loading WHD load games. Uh, I've not put them all on there, it was just proof of concept. So I'll just quickly show you, because yeah, I've been pissing about with this for a very long time and it's essentially what you need to do is edit <clears throat> um, a UAE file and put a code, uh, a length of code in there. And I found that from a chap on Facebook called Paul Smallman, who pointed me into in this direction. So many thanks to Paul. Um, but yeah, essentially what you do, you load, it, it, it's any file. And what it does, it pushes you into the Amiberry um, display window. So we've been, been here, and obviously what you need is a USB keyboard. So I managed to dig one out of the garage. But what I want to do first is change this to a 1200, because nothing will fucking load otherwise. Uh, give us some, uh, give us some juice. Um, we're gonna move down. We'll give us some ramp. Give us some slow. Just give us whatever you've got. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, because that drops it down. Uh, you need you need you need the chip ram. Uh, then we need to go down to hard drives. We need to add a hard file. And to change that to DH0. When you first go into this, these here will be populated. You can just click the X to delete them. But I say this is just really, it's not a how-to guy. This is just a look, I've managed to do it. And I know, like I say, there's some people that go, yeah, I've done that already. Uh, cancel that. So forward slash MNT is the, is the USB drive. And there you go, you can see it's slightly different. So I've created two hard drives, one's called System, one's called Games 2. So I've had to, I've had to build these in WinUAE and the PC. Um, move them over. Um, games 2 is a separate hard file because essentially the WHD load is 4 gig and you can't have it any any bigger um, yeah, any bigger than that. Uh, so we need to change Let's pick that to games 2 and then we need to change the device to DH1 I think we should be good to go. So what it's doing now, it's running my two hard drive image files from my USB drive via the Amiga Mini. And what I used, I used um, classic Workbench as a, as a base. Uh, so essentially, you know, just use that. They got that all installed. I did all the, the Kickstart ROMs and stuff like that. And then been pissed about with WHD load. Um, so it's been, yeah, been a couple of days of me really, because I'm a, a PC guy. So the whole technology and stuff is, is all really new to me. Um, so it's been, yeah, it's been interesting uh, to say the least. So again, it's like you right click. This is going to be all nothing new to some people. I know that. But for me, it's like I've got it working. Um, and the all of did I put in the zeros and the A's, I just copied them over. So you can see zeros and A's, zeros and A's. Um and what did I try? I tried Adam's family, let's just try something different. Um Apidia. Someone's asked asked me about Apidia. And as you can see the mouse works as well as the keyboard. As does the controller. Um so my keyboard's got a like a little USB slot in it, so it's just it's just um, piggybacked off the back of that. So yeah, like I say, it's it's running. This is basically running from Workbench. So all those games that didn't work from the front end, and I know that it's been updated. I know their WHD load's been updated, but you know, I mean, for me, if if my perfect scenario would be rip the carousel out allow you to load an image onto in place of the onboard memory so i put my you know my two image files here into the uh, into the onboard memory and then use a usb drive as f for the games that would be perfect honestly I, I, that would be I'd be made up um so yeah here you go guys it's working so i say it's, it's probably something nothing and other people have done this but for me it's like a bit of a 
bit of a learning curve and I like learning new stuff. Generally I do anyway. Alright, take it easy YouTube and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.